Hey guys and welcome to or back to the Pause and Pursuit YouTube channel. So today I have a very highly requested video for you guys. It's going to be a full week in the life of me as an agility competitor and a social media executive. So before we get straight into my week that I filmed for all of you, I just want to put out a slight disclaimer that every week is slightly different. You know, it doesn't always look exactly like this, but this was just this week. And it is my general routine, routine, routine. In fact, this is what I do pretty much every day. Sometimes, however, I have things on in the evening. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I have things on at the weekend. Sometimes I don't. So it all depends on that week as an individual week. But this is just one week in my life. As I said, I am an agility competitor, which you all know already, but I'm also a social media executive, which I think most of you know by now, but some of you may not, not know. Uh, that is what I do for a, well, in quotation marks, living, um, how I earn my income. Um, I'm only part time at the moment, but I work Monday to Thursday. And obviously on Wednesday, I have to fit it around training and vice versa. Luckily, being a social media executive from home is a nice and flexible job. So it perfectly suits agility and my general lifestyle. Obviously, I'm very active, doing a lot of fitnessy stuff as well, which brings me into the fact that currently this week, a week later, as I'm filming this, I'm now filming a full week of workouts for you guys. Not only me, but Arrow as well. So the conditioning stuff that I do with him. So that is going to be coming shortly. So stay tuned for that as well. But without further ado, because I have been rambling, I hope you enjoy this little vlog style video of my week. Okay, so we woke up at 7am on Monday and I had my Actimel drink thingy, then I got ready for the gym, got in my car, it was a gross day, what time is it? Half past seven, got to the gym, total fitness, there we are, got all my stuff together, as you do, then I ran to warm up on the treadmill and did my legs and glutes workout, here I am doing some cast glute bridges, I believe, yep, there's me and my big fat dumbbells, because I am hench, then it was eight past nine, um, I dropped my car off at the repair place and had to walk home in the rain. But I got home, straightened my hair, oh, did my makeup, there we go, it's literally just mascara. Gave Arrow a little fuss because he's so cute and he always brings me his bone, look at him. Oh look at, oh my god, okay, yeah he's so cute. And then this was Ethel's Monday vibe, um, I kind of related to that. Made myself my porridge with my banana and peanut butter. Oh, poured myself a coffee because that's very much needed. There we go. Then I ate my breakfast and had my coffee and it was 10 o'clock, which means it's work time. Look at my cute little room. Look at it. It's beautiful. And I'm all decked up for Christmas. There we go, answering some emails and drinking that coffee as you do as a social media executive. It was then one, which means it's time for lunch. Okay, this was way better than it looks. The dogs were a little bit interested and then they realised I wasn't giving them any, had a peppermint tea and did more work and then finished work at three and went outside to do some weed training with Arrow. He slayed as per usual. By the way, I've had to stop drinking peppermint tea because it was just bothering my stomach for some reason. And then I walked Arrow. Here we are on our little walkies. It's getting dark already, but the woods does look very cute at this time of year spotted some Christmas decorations and got very excited. Look how dark it is when we got home. Then I recorded a podcast, I think I recorded a podcast intro and outro. Then I had one of my Fuel 10k oat muffins. Ethel's looking very cute and a cup of tea. Then I ran myself a bath and edited the latest podcast episode before eating tea. I had some pasta lot. Did more work, charged my laptop under my bed, did some reading. Oh, there we go, the podcast is uploaded. Oh, I went to bed and woke up. And then I ran the next morning. Oh yes, I had to run to the gym because my car was still being repaired. There I am. Oh, there I am. I think I was doing it. Yeah, I was doing an upper body workout. Chest and back. Look at the view out the gym window there. Very nice, very nice. Ran home from the gym. So a double workout and had my usual breakfast with the dogs. And my coffee as it was time to work. Oh yes, I gave Arrow a licky mat with banana in it. Very yummy. He enjoys that, bless him. Oh, my voice just broke. Then I had lunch. Oh, a bagel with salmon and avocado. A little cuddle with Arrow and another peppermint tea. I think this was the day I realised that I need to stop having them because of my stomach. Oh, middle finger up because I had a power cut and the clock stopped working. But we went out, we trained Arrow in my Crocs. 
and then I did his strength exercises. Oh, and then I've walked, where? Oh yes, I walked to get my car. So a lot of walking has been done so far. And then when I got back with my car, I walked Arrow, so still walking. Look how pretty the sunset was. Oh, these Christmas lights are mega. I'm getting so excited. Just had to document these. Oh, and more, this is my color look. Then Ethel was very cute. I had another oat cup thingy. Then did some freelance social media work with a cup of tea. This is me making reels. I promise I'm not just laid here on my bed. Then I did some reading in the bath and had a very exciting call, which I can't show you. Fed the, well, yet, fed the dogs. There they are munching away. Oh, and I did a little photo shoot for Better Life, who sponsors us before doing Arrow's strength exercises again. I then had spaghetti bolognese in front of the fire, put some Dove moisturiser on and some of my cuticle oil. And then I laid in bed and just chilled, listening to some podcasts and then went to bed. Woke up on Wednesday nice and early at half six in the morning because it was a very busy day ahead. Got to the gym, here I am doing my warm up, got back from the gym and had this for breakfast before getting in the car and heading off to training with Arrow, our weekly Wednesday training. It was very frosty. And here is Arrow absolutely slaying. If you follow me on social media, you will have already seen these videos. But I thought I'd just pop them in there as a little bit of an extra because he was such a good boy. Look at that, some cheeky layering, never thought we'd see the day. Straight into those weavies, what a king. Oh, and of course, got to finish with a beautiful running dog walk hit into weaves. He is so cool. Then I headed home, got ready, put my Udi on to start work and had a nice tuna couscous salad for lunch. And then I had a cup of tea and some chocolate. Then I had an influencer interview for work. So there's the questions. And then I finished work, went for a walk, chilled on the settee, eat, eating reels, making some reels, had a shower, did Arrow's stretches, his post agility day stretches, read, went to bed, woke up Thursday morning. Oh look, it's me heading off to the gym again for a legs and glutes day. Oh, there I am on the calf machine. Then we went home, I put my cover on my car, knowing it would be frosty, made myself a coffee and breakfast. Oh, I'm so predictable. Oh, here I am working on Canva. I bloody love Canva, I do. Oh, this slapped avocado and honey on toast. Don't knock it till you try it. And tuna and mayo on the side. Oh, lovely. Then I walked Arrow after work and it was very autumnal looking. I was really enjoying it. Oh, and then me and my mum went to Costa and had a coffee each. I had a latte with coconut milk, I think. I wanted almond milk and they'd ran out. But the cups were cute. I then ran myself a bath again, had some pasta for tea. Oh, and I had a gin as well. Then we trimmed Arrow's nails because they are very long. And then I chilled in bed with my book as per before going to actual bed. I then woke up the next day a bit later because it was Friday and it was the 1st of December so I opened my Tony's advent calendar, had my breakfast and a coffee which I forgot to film the breakfast, went straight out on a frosty morning walk and then got in my car and headed you know where to the gym which I failed to film the logo of the gym and I had my first Pilates class which was actually very difficult and I went in the sauna and had a shower, got home and microwaved some leftover pasta for lunch, got myself all ready. Mm, there we go, yummy, yummy. Then I did some more training with Arrow in the garden. There is Fish. Oh, and he's looking so cute. And then I did his strength exercises once again before doing some freelance social media work once again on, ca on, on Carver, Canva. <laughs> then we went for another walk. I was very cold. Then I had a mince pie because it's the 1st of December with a cup of coffee or tea, I can't remember. Watch some Netflix. Oh, that was so good. Podcast intro and outro recorded. Then I headed out on my bike. Look at me go. Don't advise that, by the way. Stay safe, kids. Don't fall off your bike. And I met my mum in Sainsbury's and we went shopping. Then I came home and ran a bath and put moisturiser on. Oh, I forgot to film my curry. It was so good. Then had some salted caramel ice cream and did some freelance work 
read my book, went to bed, woke up the next day on Saturday, had my advent calendar once again and breakfast and a coffee. Oh, and Ethel's looking so cute. And then I packed my bag because we were competing today. Got to get that protein cookie and that Actimel drink in. Then we set off. It was very foggy, as you can see, and frosty. I was very glad that I wasn't driving. Turned into a really nice, bright, sunny day, though. There we go. We got to Moulton College for Inspire. Look at those Christmassy views parked up. Me and my mum were very cold. <laughs> then I had a coffee, a bagel, and my mum had a whole bar of dairy milk caramel. <laughs> there I am waiting to walk the course. Very cold. Look at those bags. Got Arrow out, warmed him up in his double coats and took him for his little warm-up walk. Look at him, he looks like a ladybird. Here was his first run in agility. Again, you've probably already seen this if you follow me on socials, but I thought you just might want to see it again and if no one's seen it yet. So this was our first run of the day. Look at him absolutely go. Slaying. I say that word way too much, don't I? So, as you can see, foot perfect until second to last obstacle and he freezes on the seesaw, bless him, and he bails. So I make him redo it and he does it perfectly. So here's just a reminder that even the dogs that look like they have it all together and used to have issues, those issues still do crop, crop, up, crop up from time to time. And there he is chilling as I do some freelance social media work in the van, trying to keep warm. Did a bit of reading before it got dark. Then we had our next agility run. Here we go. And we actually won this one. He was absolutely perfect. I love this run so much. I'm really enjoying pushing him at the moment. I found that balance between pushing him and still being really firm and on him and not letting him get away with things. <laughs> So this was a really much better seesaw considering I had to stay next to him, tight turn into the tunnel. And then my favourite ever home straight with Arrow is a dog walk finish. And just look at that nice deep hit. We then had our jumping run, which we also won. This was a really tight and tricky course. And here, he just didn't quite clock the in and luckily didn't run past the plane of the wing. So it wasn't a refusal, just some annoying time wasting there. But he still managed to absolutely smash second place's time so he's just the best boy look at those tight turns nice drive straight into the tunnel there we still do love a nice little jumping and then here oh he didn't even look at that finish wow he's come on then because i was judging the next day i set up my course once the ring had finished there i am ring two had a protein cookie and a coffee and we headed home nice and late And then as soon as I got home, I had a shower because I was freezing. Look at these beautiful Christmas rosettes. We then chilled by the fire and I had some chilli for tea with garlic bread. Yummy, yummy. Then I went to bed and woke up at 5am the next morning, had my advent calendar. And oh my God, we were six inches in snow. I could not believe it. Just look at these scenes. Considering we were driving to Inspire again today for me to judge, this was quite scary to start with. Um, Arrow was fascinated though. He was like, oh, what is this strange white stuff? Bless him. But I do love the snow. But we were hoping that it wouldn't be so bad where we were driving. Look at my weaves, absolutely encompassed in snow. I love it though. I was feeling so Christmassy this morning. Think about it. It was like just after 5am and I was already out trekking through the snow. <laughs> like the absolute warrior that I am. Had to get some cute pictures though of the dogs in the snow. It was up to Ethel's chest, bless her, but we really don't get it much in um, the East Midlands here in the UK, so got to make the most of it. Then I had breakfast and we went out to start the journey. Obviously I had to go into the middle of the street because it was still so early, there were no cars, and just get some crazy footage. And then my mum had to clear all the snow off the van because it is illegal to drive with snow on your vehicle and we have quite a big vehicle and it is a bit of a reach up to the roof. Um, but just look at all that. Like I can't believe that happened overnight. Little Waz in his crate, bless him. I call Arrow Waz, by the way. It's a long story. Um, but then the van was nice and clear and we could set off very slowly. <laughs> um, very slowly indeed. We were 20 miles per hour at one point along the main road. Um, so we did end up being late by half an hour to the judging appointment. 
Uh, but the fact that we got there was amazing. <laughs> there was salt spreading, there was a snow plow. Look at this view though, it looks like we're in a different country. Absolutely beautiful, worth the trauma. When we got there, we had, oh no, I did some judging, then we had a lunch. I had a jacket potato with chilli and cheese and a coffee. Here we were, while some, pe some people were walking my course. At the end of the day, I had a chocolate croissant thingy, a coffee, and we went home. Obviously didn't get much footage of judging because it is literally standing in the middle of a ring all day judging dogs, and I can't exactly film everyone's dogs. Um, but it was very foggy on the way home, forgot to film my tea again because I was starving, but it was curry with naan bread by the fire. Then I put Arrow's wins from the previous day into his record book and on the system. Then I renewed my YKC membership because it's about to run out. Did some reading and you guessed it, went to bed. So that was my week in the life. I hope you liked coming along with me for that week. It was a super fun week, a little bit different at the start with having to take my car in and stuff like that. Like I said, not everything that happened in this week happens every week um, and stuff like that. But that is generally my routine. And I'm in a really good place with my routine at the moment. I really enjoy my days. Um, I'm having a good time, to be honest. Um, I'm feeling productive, but I'm still enjoying myself. Um, you know, enjoying the little things and the big things, obviously. But yeah, that is a week in my life as requested. So you're welcome for doing that. And thank you for watching. But, you know, I think you should subscribe because like I said, I've got that uh, full week of workouts video coming very, very shortly. In fact, I'm editing it as we, well, I'm filming it as we speak, ready to edit it. And you're not going to want to miss that because it is literally every single full workout that I do in the gym, as well as Arrow's full workouts, as well, his strength and mobility um, exercises that I do with him every day. So subscribe to make sure you don't miss that. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and comment if you have any thoughts on the video whatsoever. I'm open to compliments and criticism, all of the above. And make sure to follow me on all of the socials. I will put them here on the screen right now and also in the description so that you can go follow me. I'm active on all of those pretty much most days. And yeah, so I'll see you all over there and definitely make sure to stay tuned for what's to come. Bye guys.